What's going on, guys? Hey, it's your boy Josh Pearson here, back with another segment. Just something to talk about. Just me talking. It is what it is. But um, anyway, what I'm talking about today is uh, our loss of beauty and views. You know, we don't view things beautiful anymore. You know, we try to lie to ourselves and try to disguise what is beautiful and what's not. But, you know, and it all starts with the whole sex thing. That's what I'm going to start off with. You know, sex, nothing wrong with it. There's really nothing wrong with sex. There's nothing wrong with making love to a person. There's nothing wrong with, you know, treating that girl like she want to be treated, you know. Because sex was a gift from God that was given to us from the beginning. You know, I would say that was given to us, but now we have kind of twisted it to a point where it's just, sex is just a thing, you know. Sex is actually supposed to be a gift that you show love for one another, that show that beauty of that intimacy with your loved one, and you share that with the with the gift that God has given you. But now we just do the smashing, the hitting and quitting, all that other stuff, you know. That's what we pretty much do. And, you know, you have sex with a person and then you leave them, you pretty much treat them like leftover food. You know, once you put that leftover food in the refrigerator, that means you really ain't gonna really eat it no more because you know it's leftover, so now you're trying to get something new, you're gonna try something new. What you really need to do is you need to treat people as people, not as a food substance or an object or just some new supply. That's not what people are. People are meant to be loved, people are meant to be valued, people are meant to be treated in the best way possible. That's what God intended for us to begin with. And you treat them like that. You know, you ever had pop tarts? Yeah, I said pop tarts, I don't care. You ever had pop tarts, you ever had cake, you ever had, you know, anything that looked good and it tasted so sweet? Well, it takes something to make it what it is. It takes some special ingredients to make it look good. So basically what I'm saying is that when you treating, let's say you're treating a woman, uh, when you're treating a woman, always do the right ingredients. That means get to know them. Get to know their heart. See what they're really all about. You know, wind down, take it out somewhere romantic, and then try to treat them right the way you want to be treated get it make make sure their heart is right see how their heart is before you want to get in them panties you know if you just there for getting them panties you really don't show love at all and that's pretty much a pointless life for you you know so try to always get to know somebody you know when you get to know that grief get to know somebody know their heart what they really are about what their character is what their personality is what their favorite perfume is what their favorite food is what they what they love to do what makes them smile what do they really want when they're going to get a gift you know those are the ingredients to try to keep a beautiful life to went to who you are with you know in the bible it says it says in, in the book of corinthians you know it says love is patient love is kind that means you have to be patient with somebody you have to be kind to one another you know it is not it is not something that is meant to be used and throw it away like some old towel after you wash your car you know when you're making a pop tart it takes some special ingredients to make it good so that means you need to treat a girl right treat them like they are loved and valuable in order for them to stay with you that's what that's what keeps them up that's what keeps them smiling and those are the beautiful qualities of a woman and ladies when you're dealing with a man you know make them feel like make them feel like a man make them feel like a man of god you know use that ingredients you know treat them treat them right you know try to treat them the way that you would want them to treat you you know it's all about equal partnership you know so we use sex as just smashing and whatever like that and then we got that thing that we always say you know well you know that's just some real nigga stuff you know real nigga stuff i honestly i never knew what the heck that meant i just thought that was something stupid we actually came up with so we pretty much came up with you know real nigga stuff why don't you try doing real man stuff why don't you try reading the word more getting closer to god and maybe you'll be blessed with a woman of god that that can put things together y'all can have an equal partnership and everything will begin to work in its own way 
You know, that's not how we supposed to do it. Sex was not made for it to be the way it is now. It is always made for us to, it's always made for us to use it as a gift to show love to one another. You know, we have to treat them, we have to treat women as layers of cake in order to make it just right to have that sweet taste to where we can have that special intimacy that God intended for us to have. So, you know, stop treating people like cookies in a jar. When it's all gone, you just want to buy something new. No, you make, you take time, you bake it, you bake that cookie, and then it'll taste sweet. That's what you got to do with a person. You take time with them. You get to know them. You always look to them, see what they love, see what they love to do. Try to try to be there for them, you know, the way they got intended to be. You're supposed to show love one another, not tear each other down and try to hit and quit it, none of that other stuff. So that's basically what I want to say about that. Stop freaking doing all this smashing and hitting and quitting because it's not going to satisfy you in the long run. What the true intentions are is get to know somebody so you can sell with that one person that's going to be around and not just ditch you and just leave you like you and leave you high and dry. So just think about that. I'm Joshua Peterson and I'm out.